update for January 8th, 2016 and uh, getting over whatever it is that I've had for uh, the last uh, 10 days or so. Yesterday was my first day going out and running errands and uh, I wonder if it's going to be difficult doing uh, the 10 flights of stairs at City Hall after that big layoff and it's like, uh, yeah, the last three floors are definitely not as easy as they were. So trying to get back into shape. Anyway, it's official. The uh, completely remastered Church and State Volume 1, the first copies of uh, this incredibly thick book. Um, thank you, Sean and Mara, for all of your hard work. And uh, John and Karen Funk for their hard work. And, uh, yeah, the first copies arrived in comic stores on Wednesday. Uh, it's not designated with uh, a new code as a new item. So it's just our, our old friend, uh, star U 271 S-T-A-R for Star System 00271. So if you've been waiting to get one of those, uh, tell your store owner to just order it as Church and State Volume 1 and you are guaranteed to get one of the remastered copies. Next and final item of business for this week, uh, as I'm struggling to get back to uh, full health, is uh, Christmas cards. Um, Pretty much a guarantee that I won't be sending out any Christmas cards of my own this year. Uh, so I did want to uh, this for the for this first time to uh, acknowledge the cards that came in from comic book and comic art people uh, here on uh, the weekly update. Uh, maybe. Maybe this year will be the year that I finally get an actual Aardvark Vanaheim Christmas card and send it out ahead of time to everybody. Uh, don't hold your breath. Speaking of people who actually draw their own Christmas cards, this one from Jim Keefe, who is the artist, longtime artist, on the King Features strip Sally Forth. I, I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional. Wait, I never promised myself that. Brian Blackmon, who uh, keeps me updated on his semi-regular publication of uh, a delightful comic book called Beatnik Fox. Gary Spencer Millage uh, did an astonishingly beautiful fold-out Christmas card with uh, the moon as a Christmas ornament. And uh, thank you, Gary. He does an official Christmas card every year, and they just get prettier and prettier and prettier, just like Gary's own work. It just wouldn't be Christmas without the uh, almost generic Christmas card from Al Nickerson. A four penguin, <coughs> excuse me, four penguin Christmas card uh, drawn by John Mosher. A uh, long-time Cerebus fan. Thank you, John. It also wouldn't be Christmas without uh, the latest installment of Blair Kitchen's The Possum Christmas Card. This year, The Possum versus Krampus. Krampus? What's a Krampus? asked the Possum. Google it! Run for your life! John Mosher wins with his four penguin Christmas card. Uh, this one from uh, Debbie Lynn Nia, 
with uh, three penguins is a close runner-up. Uh, Debbie Lynn used to deliver uh, free newspapers to this neighborhood and moved away to another neighborhood. But every year she comes back and drops off a Christmas card for everybody on the street, which uh, is very nice of her. Tied with Debbie Lynn Nia is uh, this Deck the Halls Three Penguin card from my old boss, James Whaley of Toronto. Jeff Seiler's He He The Laxatives should kick in about now. All the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names, but not anymore. Merry Christmas from Jeff Seiler. It also wouldn't be Christmas without a photo card of retailer Jeff Legison and his two kids. They'd just be shooting up like weeds at this point, Jeff. And you really can't beat this one from uh, Night Flight Comics. The Carols and the Estradas. And I think we can infer that they're all huge Green Lantern fans. We even have a completely adorable Supergirl and Batgirl with uh, their Green Lantern rings. Raphael's Adoration of the Shepherds is a uh, gorgeous Christmas card sent by Jeff Locke. Jeff also sent along these promotional postcards for three plays that he directed uh, this year. This is, of course, uh, Samuel Beckett's Embers. Václav Havel's Unveiling and Carol Churchill's Abortive. Uh, kind of glad that I won't be able to send out any uh, Christmas cards this year because I didn't direct any plays this year at all. Uh, I wonder if that's, that's true of you as well. Uh, anyway, thank you to Jeffrey Locke. Peace from Mike and Erica Kitchen and the 5K Kitchens. Joy from longtime Cerebus fan Robert Rowe. Thank you, Robert. Happy Holidays from Ted Adams at uh, IDW. And Norman Rockwell's We the Peoples, the United Nations Wide Angle Christmas Card from uh, Martin Mahoney at uh, the Norman Rockwell Museum. And Martin wins hands down. Uh, intriguing note with, Hi Dave, I hope all is well or at least tolerable. Have a good holiday, and I hope to be back in touch with you soon, Martin. You do? You hope to be back in touch with me soon? About what? Um, anyway, I'm on, uh, I'm on pins and needles, just waiting to find out what, uh, what the Norman Rockwell Museum want, might want to be back in touch with me about. Anyway, cheesiest way ever to answer your Christmas cards. You betcha. And uh, while, my, while my nose is still clear, I'm uh, going to head down to City Hall and do the 10 flights of stairs. Uh, God willing, we will see you all next week for the weekly update, January 15th. Uh, everybody have a good week, please. Pardon? Oh, as, uh, as a matter of fact, no. Uh, I don't throw out my Christmas cards. Uh, every year I put them in a plastic bag just like this 
and then they go into the correspondence file in the Cerebus archive. See you next week, God willing.